Welcome back. Now we're looking at PowerShell. Now PowerShell is pretty much on all Windows machines, and if you've never used it before, it's very, very powerful. So there's a lot of things you can do with it, but let's start with the introduction, and then once we've done the introduction, we can move on to more exciting things. Okay, so to get into PowerShell, you can say start run and get PowerShell, push enter, and it'll come up like that. And try and zoom in here just so it's easier for you to see. Okay, so brilliant. So if we're looking at anything in PowerShell, there's a couple of commands that are slightly different. So if I do, this is a string, I can then say replace, and I can say take this as a string, and I can replace the word string, for instance, and I can put a comma there, and then say this is a PowerShell command. Okay, so what we're trying to do is we're trying to sort of like match it via regex over here to say this is a string with a capital S, replace it with a string with a capital S. So we're just doing literal replace and we're replacing it with PowerShell command. So if I push enter now, it says this is a PowerShell command. So that's a very, very simple example, but let's try and carry on and see what else we can do. Let's clear that. So if I've got words like my name is Paul and close that, and I can say match whether it actually is a normal word character and I can close that. So if I push enter now, it says true. Now in PowerShell, there's a couple of, there's a thing called the dollar matches that will tell you what is actually matched. So if I go dollar and then say matches and push enter, it says the only thing that actually matched there was my, because what it was looking for is any word character. And then it goes, M is a word character, cool. Y is a word character, cool. It gets to a space that says, no, that's not a word character anymore and stops. So that is how you get that out. So if I now say the same thing again, and I say, my name is Paul, and I then say, backslash w plus backslash s for a space or a space character um, or white space character and then push w plus again and push enter it still says it's true and if i say matches this time it says my name going a bit further we're now going to say i am paul dot oj at taming dot tech as my email address, it's paul at tamingtech, it's paul.oj, it's whatever you want to send to tamingtech, it comes through to me, I'm just that special. Okay, and I'm gonna do another match, and I'm then going to say match any character at taming.tech, close that, and push enter, we've got another true, and let's go to matches, and you'll see We'll just bring out the R. So that was stupid. So if I go back to here again and say plus, so any character, and we can even start at the beginning here if we want, and push enter again. Now it's true again. And let's look at the matches. And now it's got my full email address.